Okay, so um, back with um, you, you, you said okay, you know, a lot of things have been, um, you know, a lot of things are being. Uh, how should I say it? Decided by dev story, so it's not like you have a lot of impact. But Shalko asks, "What was your?" Hold on, what was the hardest decision in Red Hessian Army that you had to deal with by devs in a uh, story outcome that they decided, I guess? So what was the really, like, the punch thing? Yeah. The big jab in the... Big challenge. The <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Omega-3? No? Oh, uh, we even did far worse things than one of our battleships nearly dying. Um, <laughs> Castle, yeah, true. We've been getting that shit for years. Yeah. Uh, it's, it was only a matter of time before it happened. It's really just the... Uh, it's not one decision. Or it's it's the constant reiteration of houses fighting us. Because you have to remember that like we're like the... We are like an icon, both ORP and IRP, for people that want to like be like, yo, I can challenge the house of my own lava faction. Like True. when they look at people as like a model, they're like, hmm, I can look at the Sarahs of the Outcast, but they are they're already their own nations, and exactly. they sort of have their own thing set up. From Manila, what's another faction? Hmm, that's right, it's the RHA. You no, know, like, <laughs> and so that kind of like pressure yeah. is kind of it really gets stressful when you see things and you see people throw around like oh wait you're gonna lose this space or this much territory it's that constant reiteration of the houses fighting us and their ability to just curb stomp us at any time that gets really stressful at times and that like that has always been like it doesn't matter what dev team i've talked to or who in the dev team i've talked to that's always been the reiteration so it's always gotten stressful in that regard yeah it's always gotten very stressful in that regard yeah uh, as far as like if i can give you like another individual thing where like we lost a base or we lost it i honestly um it's gotta be when we got it was kicked out of um 11. oh that pissed me oh the 11 scenario kind of went made me go hmm because we kinda lost like... uh, Kind of like it was a vanilla asset too, so I was kind of like pissed, and then they replaced yeah. our vanilla asset because you know, you know how I told you before, like you know, for every one you lose, one's gain. True. Um, uh, so when we lost Ronenberg, the coalition took the other base, like one that was supposed to go to us. So I was kind of like, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's me. It's kind of like a jab in the neck, and I don't understand it because, like, you know, you guys can always just dock in our bases and we're best True, friends. pretty so much. Why does that need to be in there? Pretty much. You know, I wouldn't ask for what I. We had a base in your system Dude. once, and I literally told the devs, like, you know, remove this shit. We don't need this here. Like, this doesn't need to be here at all. Yeah. I mean, it's. <laughs> yeah, I. I can get big on about this, but that was like the most stressful yeah. thing. Well, not the most stressful, but that was probably the one that just annoyed me. Mm -hmm. What's really been painful is just the constant reiteration and the constant reiterate, like the constant stress that they can't, like they put on us yeah. every single day when we go to have these discussions about story about us versus the house it's always inconsistent and it always puts me under stress and then you know you see devs like typing up stuff like oh we're gonna do this to you and I'm like oh man once a day I'm gonna lose my whole faction because we <laughs> lost fucking Tangier like you know fuck yeah I know what you mean yeah it's that stress that constantly yeah. lingers over your head and other factions can be like well, yeah we experienced that too we don't want to lose our bases okay well are you in our shoes though true do you have this the corsairs will never have to fucking like they constantly whine about how they lost assets and stuff they lost like three guard systems that belong yeah. to them big fucking deal you got all these other systems yeah i know right? you <laughs> to. like the biggest platform of all in all <laughs> yeah the biggest platform you have nothing to fucking whine about like same thing with the outcast the outcast and the corsairs like i could go on about how they're donated and crap but yeah. that's just that speaking of losing but that's probably the biggest thing. speaking of losing assets the uh the whole Kaiman, Kaiman thing, or how or that's pronounced, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. Because when it's so much, so many roleplays with Tabris to conquer Kaiman, and they just oh. removed it. <laughs> that was it. Okay, remove the system. Yeah. None of the base. Oh, yeah, Kaiman. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yep. I miss that system. It was pretty cool. That was awesome. Yeah, I know. Because I wanted to wreck on our OS, which kind of sucks because they put those those stations in different places. Mm -hmm. and they kind of just like scrambled them all over the map in a way, which <laughs> kind of sucked. True, true. Okay, so let me jump on the ne next question. Uh, what does 
another faction have that RHA would want to right now? Want to say again? What uh, what does a, another faction have? Like, what does a faction right now have that RHA would want to? Like, you see all these other factions, and you're like, well, you know, we kind of want that for our faction too. Um, now I'm not sure if that's meant for assets or just you know. I guess mm -hmm. it's for assets. Like gameplay and stuff. Um, yeah. Gameplay wise, we could use a BC. Oh right. Uh, I told the devs many times if you want to make the lidar into a BC, go for it. We have the hell. We don't really need another ship. By the way, uh, I d I don't get it. How did that? Now that we are speaking about ships, how did that whole? I remember before I got banned, we had ninety percent shared ship lights what happened uh, we to lost that? our official dumb is what happened oh, fuck yeah true true um yeah so i was like you guys have as well our bc we lost our official dumb. yeah okay and so they did they never reintegrated no, because that? Lose the perks that go with it we got a new id mm. we got a new id with new lines okay yeah. our id isn't the same as what we had in 4.88 um it's different now okay. but that's why that happened but yeah, no, I know I want the 90% back, but like the, the BC issue, that could be a thing for us. Yeah. Okay. Um, they might just sort of shove that under the table by saying, now you can use coalition BCs, but I know you guys will be pissed if I do that. So I don't know what the situation's going to turn out to be. I mean, I've had this talk before. I they wouldn't want mind. BCs for the Sairs and Outcasts. If that happens, I don't see why we shouldn't have one. The <laughs> fight ours is as big as the BC and it's not one. So. Pretty, pretty much, pretty much. Okay. Um, Let me move on peregrine asks when when go to war and what do you exactly mean with that peregrine? like i mean you said we are right now defensive so i don't think you guys are like picking any for the wars at I this don't point see why we should we're right? waiting for the, it's 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 a it's a picky opportunity and i can't say like we're going to war with the corsairs and like we're about to like make a big surge against them because they won't log let's be mm -hmm. real like they they as much as I say that they're kind of like whining about it, like <laughs> they don't want to like constantly. I have to accept the reality that they just yeah. don't want to log to fight us all the time. Yeah. So that's True. not really a go to war by attack phase. What would really be a big go to war is if something would happen in 49 where we retaliate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is what people are asking me right now. <laughs> that could um, be a thing, yeah, a new front. Yeah. Could be a thing. Um, RM has always logged off whenever we log in. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so did the RM, so it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I've never, like, apparently there's like a problem uh, between our factions or something. Like, I mean, there's a problem, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, I have a problem with their leader. Um, if I think, I, if the leader, <laughs> let's be honest is, too, yeah, who's okay. in charge of RM right now? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think EXE. So. Yeah, that's why, yeah, yeah. yeah. EXE, yeah. Um, that guy, I've had so many bad run-ins with him, it's unbelievable. Um, I, don't, I don't actually remember this. Like, I, people have mentioned him, but was he around when I was, like, before? Yeah, he was around. Oh, he was? Car. Okay. Yeah. Did he have a different name? No, yeah, the same okay, name. Weird. Okay, good. He was one of those, uh, those bomber pilots that would fly around with a snack, and every time he landed a snack on somebody and he killed them, he would boast about it on every single chat. <laughs> that quickly made him a target for Antonio and I, and, uh... I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'll say it here, I'll yeah. say it in chats, like, cool. those people that, like, they boast about it in every single channel, like, I, I will prey on those people. I do not <laughs> like people are like, oh, I'm better than so-and-so because I could land a snack, like, that boils me. Yeah. That boils my blood. <laughs> I am the best now, I, I could snack somebody, and basically that kept going on. I, mean, I wasn't, and, so, I wasn't different back in the old SCRA day, days, I was kind of like that too. <laughs> Those people yeah, but it wasn't like the same as bad. If you lost, you weren't like, I want to challenge you and con until I win, and then make up every yeah. Yeah. why you lost every single time. It's like yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> and then I uh, go on from there, like you know, he wished I would get hit by a school bus. So <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. Die. Is, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons yeah. that uh, I don't. I'm not willing to chat on that behalf. The other RM members, though, I'm like, whatever. I just see more targets on my scanner that need to be killed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i guess it's developed into the point where there's like a problem maybe it's because the leader has said so and that could be the case because remember like, what i said before the leader's got a big impact on how what the rest of the faction follows up with yeah so 
if that mentality is being like reiterated from him about our faction and that's what the problem is and that's where the problem can be rectified but I mean, it's, it's up to the faction members yeah. at that point then. They just want to be like, you know, you're wrong. Like, you're just angry. You don't like this faction. <laughs> speaking, yeah, actually, the sp the time. speaking of the factions, now uh, let's get into a little bit of comparison here. There's a question asked about, uh, do you consider the Hessians balanced, weak, or too strong compared to other unlawfuls right now? Um depends on how you look at it we're not like really it depends on which unlawfuls you're talking about too yeah. um, I, I guess i mean you're not like corsairs we're not the most powerful no we're not yeah. the corsair we're not the so. outcasts we're not the council we're not yeah. um we're not as powerful as them like lore wise we're just sort of in the like we're the, we're the most powerful house unlawful one like yeah. we have a lot of we got a lot of momentum yeah exactly and yeah well i deny that no as far as ORP wise, gameplay wise, are we the most powerful and lawful? I mean, you. I don't need to say anything there. Um, <laughs> we'll leave that to you guys to decide. You're poking a bear if you poke us. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> you're poking the biggest yeah. grizzly bear ever. True, true. Okay, so. I guess this is a little bit of a personal question. What kind of factions would you want on the server that's not there at all right now? To be honest, I think we can all agree there are too many factions right now anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of... <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of... People are saying Discovery encourages, which it does, but mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. I think that it really just needs to veer away from these house wars, and then we'll see more activity flood, like the... the activity is kind of bottlenecked in this one war scenario, and as soon as it ends, it's gonna be like... You pop the cap off of like a bottle of wine or some shit, like it's just gonna go flying, like... That's like the activity, sort of. Yeah. It's gonna go. It's gonna circulate to other areas of space. Well, and I mean, but but I but, personally want to see more action in all the border worlds. In mm. the edge worlds, can be like whatever. Like I live in the edge worlds. But, but is is there like a, is there like a faction that you like literally I thought about see wild ideas? Oh, wild. Wild. I want to see Wild and BD and KNF clash in Toku. I like flying my Wyvern. I want to see that happen. Yeah, that would be uh, actually nice. True. Uh, would I love to see my faction fly more? Yes, all the time. But I'm not going to like... Obviously, this question is kind of veering away from just not RHA. This is like a different thing. But like, I want to see Wild and KNF. I want to see Kasari flying more internally. Yeah. I want to see um, more action hitting in the... Um, Sigmas in that region. Yep. Uh, the Taos have had their moment in 4.87. If they came back, would I mind? No. But I think the Sigmas should be the new theater. I really think that the Sigmas should be like where all the stuff that's gonna, all the drama and all the trade impact routes and stuff like where the trade sort of circulates, uh, goes through more, and you see more piracy or where you see uh, more yep. fights or whatever. Yep. And people will be like, oh, well, we have the, you know, we have the run. Like, Sorry, war. No, we don't. Lawful like house <laughs> wars. Are just, it's not gonna do it. It's, it's not, not gonna, gonna do gonna it. No. Yeah. For you putting like 20 battleships in front of the planet is not going to encourage people to log. It's got to be natural encouragement. And exactly. that's only going to come if it's like lawful versus unlawful, or if it's like just things taking its own course. It starts with those wars ending. Then activity is going to find its way to other regions. Pretty much. Other things are going to happen. Pretty much. So, this whole house war thing over stuff has just gone, it's gotten old. Yeah, pretty much. It's gotten old. I've already seen so much of it. I think that's kind of what, like, people are just bored of this whole Gallia Bertone yeah, thing. Yeah. And it kind of hurts our player base in a way, too, because you join the server and your first thing you see is, oh my god, there's a fight between this vanilla faction that I absolutely loved and loved in vanilla when mm -hmm. I just played it and just got this mod. And there's this evil house antagonist that wasn't even vanilla and, you know, is like coming through and taking all and they're being the bad guy. Yeah. Who am I going to make a ship for, you know? And it, like, it flushes people into that sort of, like, that conflict and they quickly just get burnt out from for one reason or the other True. or they go into one of these <laughs> one of these satanic discord chats but like the you know what you know what i mean though right like yeah. it all the majority flows into this gallic war and then it kind of just gets bored of that and they all leave like they never really get a chance to see the other regions of space at their best because it's all being packed into this one region of space 
Yeah. So I think this thing, this whole war, regardless of how it comes out, and I know it's easier for me to say this than one of the people playing here that like actually enjoys it. <laughs> like it, it needs to come to a fucking, it needs to come to a conclusion, in my opinion. That's true. No, I agree. I agree. I agree. So I mean, while we are at the, um, when I asked about different factions, factions would see, someone asked, um, do you consider like, uh, hold on, uh, is there is there a position you would like to have instead of RHA leader, another faction lead, for example? Um, I have my eyes on a position that I am very close to attaining in another faction. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it specifically because yeah. I don't want it to. Pretty much spoil it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to spoil it yet. Um, but there are other factions in space that interest me that I want positions in. Yes, without a doubt. Um, I did want to be the one I see of the, um, what faction was it? Jesus Christ. I wanted to be the one I see of the, uh, Galactic Brigands at one oh. point. I wanted to be the one I see of the Brigands. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I was one I see of the OCs. That really didn't interest me, though. Mm -hmm. Um, I was one I see of the core. That didn't really, the quasi lawful effect didn't interest me. Ooh, um, House Intelligence faction would be fun, Oh, too. yeah. Uh, I won't play Waffles, but I'll play Quasi Waffles. I'm in LSF and I'm in BDM, and mm -hmm. I like playing LSF. Being in the Coast Guard now, I can relate and carry over so much stuff to the LSF. <laughs> so play, it'll be pretty cool. I have like concept designs and ideas and stuff and whatnot. Well, I wish there was mo more of these uh, intelligence faction clashes and shit. You know, I know how that's called it proxy wars or whatever. Mm -hmm. There should be more. Uh, Oh yeah, right now it's just stuff would raid New Tokyo with yeah. triple CD freighters and CD chimeras to death. It was good times. <laughs> exactly, um, exactly. No, but yeah, I mean, yeah. right now, the, are fun. Are fun. yeah, right now they're just like you know, I don't know, like a sub faction to the uh, military, something. I mean, it looks like that. I don't know, but um, anyhow, let, let me actually move on. Uh, what does Veska think? Wait, what? Will hold any attention he could. I'm reading a chat in the Discord. Oh, you are? Okay. Well, it's... it's, it's... I keep, I keep no, asking me the question. I decided to read that off because it was funny. <laughs> what does Wesker think RHA has in excess? Um, In excess? We... There is definitely something or, we might have in excess. Or like, yeah. What Or what does the uh, RHA lack, lack, lack most? Lack, lack um, most. Right? I think... What we lack most and what we have in excess of, those are two different. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, both let's, of them answered. Yeah, that's um, first one. In excess, I would say it's probably. Um, we get a case of like too many fucking. What do I say? Like, <laughs> I don't want to say like players to like. Too often, too many. Yeah. We have an excess. We have. We do have a lot of players that log in. Is it a bad thing? No. Uh, no. no. Is it in excess in the sense of like we have more than we need? Yeah. Um, it happens a lot. And it's yeah, but no I mean, I, anybody obviously. I mean, and I don't think it's like the worst thing in the world. But yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say we have like in excess lore assets because if you watch the stream, uh, with, your stream with Benor, and obviously that's not the case. And um, <laughs> if you um, yeah. We don't have any excess in more assets. Do we have excess in like what we have access to, like ship wise? I mean, we the same thing other houses on lawful factions have access to. Mm -hmm. Even UN's got battleships now, so. Yeah, true. It's, Holy it's shit. Kind of like, the whole what UN. Do we have like that other factions. Don't we have a planet? Other unlawfuls do. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We have stations. Yeah, other unlawfuls got them. We have a big shipyard. That's probably the one thing they'll give to us. Okay, we got a big shipyard, but I actually put, I personally put in a request for that. And I had the faction work towards it. So, yeah. as far as where do we struggle, where do we lack the most? We, believe it or not, like people that write, like to write stories, mm -hmm. do comms on their own, pursue mm -hmm. their own character yeah. adventures and stuff. I think that's a general problem we in many factions. We attract a player base that loves to have fun in game and do things in game more. We don't have a player base that likes to take to the forums as much. Mm -hmm. It's something that I've kind of had to build up like my own interest for over the years. Yeah. 
because at first I was like, I don't care about this, like who cares? And then uh, quickly I realized like, oh, you're a faction leader, you have to care about this. You have to pay attention to this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you kind of have to establish some kind of like, some kind of character, you know, that's where I establish the main and character I have, and then you have to kind of establish some other things, so. Yep. Kind of built up over time. Okay, so I'll take two more questions from the audience and then I'll have to wrap it up with a last personal right. question. Guys, so... Uh, and I'll have... try and do more uh, streams either with Snake or Solo when I ask questions, because... Oh, that, be, that, that would be great, Wesker. We, we'd like to have you on the show more often. <laughs> now that I have my new PC, I can finally do some real editing. So. Oh, that's nice. We'll see some awesome videos, hopefully. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wesker, when will you return to... What, what, oh, what, when is the return of the Alpha team? What, do, what does he mean with that? It's from Nen. Who asked that question? Nen. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Um, so there's a pun. Okay. Those of you that have played Resident Evil 2. Oh, um, yeah. There's a mission. You can play as a character. And he iconically says, this is Alpha Team. And he's all that's left of Alpha Team. <laughs> you would make the pun that we were Alpha Team. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. Like alpha lead going to shoot things down. It was like one of my SOA. The SOA would do it. The SOA is like the RNA. SOA, like, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're like the over badass. Like you're going to definitely, like there's RHA level, you're going to die. And then there's SOA, like you're definitely going to die. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we sure. do that. I would say, uh, and then that's coming back when Bath decides to push in. Yeah. Yes. I think that's like on hold. That's like our like Bath, uh, our Bath repellent. Our yeah. bath uh, pepper spray. <laughs> okay, I guess. Should make like, a can and just Photoshop Alpha Team on it, and that'll be it. You should, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess there's not uh, no other question here. So, I mean, if there will be more questions, we can do another, like part two. You know, I don't, I don't care. Like, I can do that. It's okay. But uh, part two. <laughs> Right now, though, uh, I ask this a lot of um, actually, this it's more of a, a question by Rogue. He he asked me I should go mm -hmm. ask about like I know this is a deep question because you'll probably have a lot of material here. So it's like your history with this, yeah. like explain your history with Disco and your current views of the game itself. That's kind of like a general overview. How do you see the mod? How do you, see, uh, how, yeah, your your history. So uh, I played freelancer since I was like seven. Um, mm. I discovered Disco towards the end in like 2013. Wait, did you play um, vanilla on multiplayer? Yeah, I played on a few servers. I played on HHC once or twice. I played on uh, Crossfire. Do I you, played on. Do you remember God, Joel UK? Ah, uh, no, not off the top of my head. <laughs> I played on a bunch of other ones that I can't recite the name off of. Um, Crossfire was definitely a hefty one. Yeah. I still play Crossfire sometimes. Or that's so nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I discovered Disco. Mm -hmm. 2013 mid to end, played a bit in 4.86 towards the tail end. I made a form account in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I started like playing a bit more. Um, what was I... your first? What was your first question? Uh, what was your first faction actually that uh, you got really into? Like it was Bath and it was RHA. I was one of those people that uh, flew into Bath. Okay. Um, I made a Dunkirk and I was like, "Yo, I want to play the game." Um, <laughs> when, the, looks nice. when Bath was and cool, I got into Caps quite a bit, and then I was playing Caps for a while, and then I was like, "Eh, Lawfuls are kind of getting boring." How did you turn into the SCRA though? I don't. I, just that remember a fragment. Wait, what? I said for that reason, Lawfuls got boring. Ah, uh, so... Yeah, but I mean, how did you discover the coalition? Like, how... What was your Through first? Through RHA. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I also saw those cruisers and I was like, ooh, I want to fly one of those. Um, <laughs> it's like a video of Titan and I razoring a bunch of people on them. But, um, Did you have that nostalgia like me? Because I, I came from yeah. the Crossfire community into Discovery. And yeah, when the I easy saw coalition. exactly, like, oh, it's cool. Ooh, oh yeah, exactly. True. So you. It was pretty cool to fly. I was in a bunch of different factions, flying caps for a while, and then I moved over to snubs, and I was kind of like, just sort of getting. That's when I started leading RHA. That's when mm -hmm. I realized like I have to fly snubs. Mm -hmm. The lineage back here is like snub players, so I have to follow up this lineage and not be better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it took a while, but eventually I started practicing. Towards the end of 2015, I sort of started getting like. The hang of things 2016 i got pretty good um yep. i was practicing a lot more in 2016 playing a lot more getting a lot more kills because the mechanics were easier to handle in mm -hmm. 2017 it was more of a build-up i started confronting more veteran players from the past uh, who were coming back to play the game yep um then i got banned in 2017 going into 2018 i got really good towards the end of 2017. <laughs> okay um who hasn't been banned at this point? That nah, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I don't mind people hit me with that all the time. Um, <laughs> so you're, you're current. 2018. Yeah. yeah go on, go on. Uh, well, what were you gonna ask? I was going to say, like, what are your current views of the game of the mod itself? Like, where is it going? Uh, where is the community uh, going, etc. No. Things changed a lot when. Um, can I can I say something yeah. and I, I just yeah, go for it. I just want your opinion on this. It feels like, uh, especially when I came back, uh, I know out of roleplay conflicts had like they existed back in the day. Okay, yeah, I know that. But the thing is, like nowadays, it feels like it's more like ending the other guy. It's like literally doing everything to finish him off lately is that do you feel that too like when there is an out of roleplay conflict it's just everyone just rallies <laughs> their friends or allies whatever to, to just i have played with just about every click and discovery there is to play with besides the arm lawful click and i can tell you that that's probably been the case for a long time but there have always been people that people okay. have wanted off the server um yeah there are people that i couldn't stand yeah i.e gamer girl and Javelsk. um there are people that did that to me. Yeah. I mean, there was a guy who wished that I would get cancer. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Um, okay, yeah. yeah, but I mean, uh, let's, okay, let's stay on uh, where the community goes. Like, what are your thoughts on um, the whole... It's definitely changed a lot. I yeah. think in 4.87 is kind of where it started to, mm -hmm. like, shift more. Um decrease in every sense the gameplay mechanics change mm -hmm. the staff team started shifting up people started cycling out of the staff team yep um when the dev eventually had their fill with the admins and that whole transition of power went through um that really changed everything too mm -hmm. it's kind of sped mm -hmm. up things and slowed other things down in a way it's mm -hmm. just sort of shifted like the narrative of it a bit more yeah I was kind of against it and like I learned like the truth about kind of what happened mm -hmm. in some places and I was kind of uncomfortable with it but <laughs> coming back from real life things now I honestly just it's not on my mind as much I don't yeah, I I'm mean, not like bothered I'm not as bothered by it I probably should be but I'm not I mean is there like another option let's be honest like come on I, I mean I uh, I'm a sub I'm like working 12 hours a day and I'm like this is, I'm uh, hardly finding time to spend on all these issues mm -hmm. like it's it's Fucking... I would say overall, it's geared more towards uh, tried so hard to mm -hmm. appease players, mm -hmm. and we're putting in so many things so fast, and we're changing things so fast that we don't have the time to see if things actually work as they're like. Yeah. Things don't have the time to like sort of settle in, and we feel the effects of other things. We're always trying to like put in incentives to get people to log, and that in itself is kind of working against the tide of where we want activity to go. Yep. And the biggest thing is, is these house wars. They're trying to put in incentives and they work at first and they like show promise and they put in more incentives when they realize that it doesn't work and then <laughs> kind of just beating a dead horse there. Pretty much. Pretty much. I agree with that. I think this war needs to cap out and I think that there needs to be time for the community to kind of like feel the effects of it ending and the yeah. activity changing to other realm, regions of space. Hold other realms, please. Other regions of space. 
True, true, true. I think that's what kind of needs to happen, but that's just... That's my take on it. It's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Wesker, I'm gonna give you like a minute to uh, tell people where they can find the Red Hessians recruitment thread, info page, whatever, Discord, um, where can they find you? And what so you there is add. currently info shake up on what is the main Disco Discord. I have clicked the one that is on the top of the forum page. For those of you new players that are looking at this, it's the one on top of the forum page. Click on that link. Click on join the Disco Discovery GC official. Yep. Um, it'll have the dev leads at the top and then the forum moderators. Uh, go to the external servers section and then scroll up until you see Red Hessian Army. Yep. That's the one anybody can join in. I don't have like a verification process. If I find out you're being a scumbag, <laughs> take you out. That's the way it works. Um, I will I will probably put the uh, Discord. And if you join then the I can and you ask me, I'm like always online. I'm not always gonna be able to respond because I have to do other things, yeah, but yeah. when I get around to it, I can link it to the recruitment thread. I recommend before you join, you get some time to sort of settle yourself in, get the gist of how things go in Disco, because if you don't and you try to join and you throw up some crappy app, you give the impression that like this, you're fresh off, like you're too fresh. There's a difference between being a fresh player and being too fresh. Yeah. We're gonna deny you because you need to like get your feet wet before you can like true. really join. True, true. Makes sense. Like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to join a faction, but like get your like get your bearings first. Yeah. Go through the phases of being a new player before you join. That's the big thing. True. You yeah, have somebody who's going through the phases of being a new player while they're in an official faction that just like that kind of that works against the faction and everybody else, and it kind of mm -hmm. like hurt their image a lot. Versus if they're just an independent player just struggling to get their way, eventually they develop into a player who's like, oh, I know what I'm doing now. I'm not affiliated, so now I have like this sort of clean slate background. Yeah. Also, I mean, you have to experience the uh, freedom first, because obviously once you join a faction, there are going to be some rules. There are going to be regulations exactly. within that faction. Yeah, so, like if you, you start breaking the rules, mm -hmm. we've broken the rules in the past. Um, I screwed up and I got myself banned and the faction deofficialized, but since then we've been like very good about like, you know, walking the line of making sure we follow the rules. Yep. I yep. think we got one little incident, but I handled that on the way uh, to us getting official done. <laughs> yep. But I am like, especially now, um, my conscience is much more strict on that stuff. If you start <laughs> doing stuff that like breaks the rules, I will boot you out of the faction. <laughs> Yeah, do you have anything to add on? Or... Um, I think a last thing yeah. um, is just if you're a leader, mm -hmm. lead by like, be what you want people to follow. Be, try to practice, get practicing for the game. Yep. Um, be willing to communicate with newer players too. The ones that have sort of gotten their feet let wet like I just described. Yep. And do not quit do not quit exactly do not quit it's easy for me to say from person from the view of a person who's been experienced and who has years of experience doing this now yeah you know has been in charge for a while yeah but like my mentality now is the same as it was then do yep. not quit if you quit it just it like it'll get to you and then you'll be like oh well, i quit at this so i can start this and then i quit at this like you know it doesn't matter it, it builds does. up that trend Exactly. As soon as it starts, it does not stop. Um, That's true. Words of wisdom from <laughs> CC Mine and Basic. Um, basic. <laughs> but it's it's true yeah. though. Like, do not quit. Like. That's true. And I mean, the faction, faction members are looking up to you, so you know you're you're the if face you quit, of the faction. It's gonna be. It's gonna send that message to them. Like, oh, well, I don't care anymore. Exactly. Like, like I don't care about I don't care about a lot of things story wise. I care about playing the game and like just playing the game for fun now and shooting things. True. And you know, my faction members kind of like some of them don't care about the story either, and I don't mind that. But we all like when it comes to like the faction being alive. Yeah. And I'm looking at the tracker now and I'm like, hmm, I really mean what I say. <laughs> but I do like do not yeah. quit. We we got deofficialized. Like our official dumb got stripped. I got banned and we came back from it. Yeah. So, see? Again. so mm, yeah. do not quit. True. True. Always look for like new players and whatnot, and just mm -hmm. always be willing to log. Be what you want your faction to be. Pretty much. Pretty much. 
That's also my advice. You can take that to heart. Don't take it to heart in the sense of like, I want to be the most powerful faction and act like you're the most powerful person or whatever. But like, yeah, you, know, no. you know what I mean? Like, take yeah. it with some sense of understanding of like, do not quit. Like, be a good Actually, inspiration for those people. Yeah. And part of it, it, I would be lying if I said it wasn't being good at the game too. If you can get practiced in like it seriously does not hurt you it does not work against you it only works in your favor if you're willing to take the steps to get better at the game too that's true you're you don't right. have to be like you know amazing mm -hmm. to be a successful faction leader there are other successful factions that do not have the greatest pvpers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like i'm looking here at god <laughs> i'm looking at you know everybody in bath is not amazing yeah but are they a successful faction yeah they are yeah they they're still active and they still do stuff they True. still have a large player base is it in part because they're like they're part of the main story yeah but i mean you take that like, question they're still a pretty big faction yeah true look True. at mrg is lanikov the best no but he's got a big player base behind him True. True. there are other factions you know that they just like they have that player base behind them I know mm -hmm. life kicks in. I now know especially life kicks in and you can't always practice, but it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be like hours and hours and hours every day. Mm -hmm. Just take the time to practice when you can. Pretty much. I have put out tutorials, watch those tutorials, PvP related questions. I will answer. Yeah. Unless you're one of the people I had blocked, which is like two people. So <laughs> chances are you'll be able to ask your questions. So do that. If you want to PM me and be like, yo, what is the best setup for this, this yeah. and this? And what do you recommend? I'll chat about it yeah to the best of my knowledge you can hit wesker on discord all right well all right. Wesker, wesker thanks Nick. thank you fun. thank you so much for joining man i tell you thank you for taking your time that's fun i like doing these i know you're a busy guy but uh thank you for we appreciate it thank you <laughs> all right well, dude. i appreciate you having me all right no problem I'll see you guys take care mate All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. But uh, before we go, I have to say, uh, you can find Red Hash. I know he said it, but I'm going to say that the Red Hessian faction under the uh, official factions group Rhineland. And there you can find the recruitment and info page, whatever you want. And uh, I don't know if the Discord is there, but I will probably put the Discord channel uh, link under my description. I will see. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next interview.